I'm Terry Wood, the Director of Communications for the DABC, and I'd like you to meet Cade Meyer. Cade is our Deputy Director. He is the Operations Director, too, which means all of our stores, and he's the number two man in the organization. And Cade, thanks for taking time to sit down with us today. I have here a list of the questions, some of the general questions that I've received, and I know you've received too. So I'm just going to read them as they kind of come in. Uh, this, these are as if they are worded by our customers, okay? Okay. Okay, probably the uh, most common one is, why do we have so few stores? Uh, and somebody said, I understand you can have 66. Yes, it is true that by the numbers we're short. There's a quota that uh, the legislature has given us, which we can have one for every 48,000 residents in the state of Utah. And if you do the math, it shows that we're a little short. Uh, the good news is that uh, we're headed in the right direction. Uh, for example, we have new stores coming online now. Um, we have our newest and greatest store will be coming up this year, hopefully, uh, before the holiday season is what the construction people are telling me is in Syracuse. Mm -hmm. So we have a store that's going to open in Syracuse. We have plans as well where land has been purchased in Harriman and now in Kaysville as well. We also have plans to remodel um, our uh, Foothill store. So our Foothill store is currently sitting at about 4,200 square feet. That's that very small. It's very small and we're uh, excited about it because our plans will expand it to about 12,500 square feet. The other store would be in Saratoga Springs. So there's five new stores coming really quick. Now we do get a lot of questions about the stores, the small stores in small Utah towns. And they want to know things like why can they sell things other than alcohol product or why can they have a cooler for their beer and our state stores don't? What's the difference here? We contract with uh, individuals in smaller stores to sell alcohol at the same price and in the same way that uh, we are asked to by the state legislature. So in many towns, like you might find one in Salina and in Richfield, uh, some of these type of areas that are contracting uh, with the Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control to sell alcohol-related products. A lot of people want to know why some stores have better selections than other stores. There's a very scientific approach that we take upon that. And I'm actually really excited because in the future here, uh, we are working with, uh, with a company right now and running a couple of pilot stores to analyze our, um, our, our cells. We can analyze that cells uh, data to tell us what customers are buying and what their interests are. So for example, we have a target range of products uh, that may have maybe 10 wide. And we see that those 10 items are selling really well. Well, we can expand that category uh, automatically through this system to say, hey, let's add an additional two items in that category because it seems like there's some interest there. You know, sometimes our stores get crowded, especially around the holiday season, and we get letters with people commenting, why are there such long lines with maybe only two checkers open and uh, one check stand going? What's the situation? Well, this is a great question and one that we're trying to, um, to really nail down and get better at. Of course, we want to improve our customer service, and we're looking at many ways of doing that. Um, one of those ways, though, is increasing or limiting the amount of time that you're in line. Um, one that uh, I worked on when I was in school for the DABC actually was to address single line queuing. That single line queuing where we make you all stand in one line um, and then feed into multiple registers actually helps the line move faster and helps people get through the line. So we're experimenting with different ideas trying to help that. So I know you have really focused on customer service a lot. What's the long term outlook? What does the future hold? Well, it's a very exciting time for us because we're designing stores. As you know, we've had stores that have four walls and a roof. They were very state efficient. Um, they are cinder block. I, I know that we're trying to do better. We're trying to design new stores that are customer friendly, uh, that allow a nice even flow. We want to have a nice, friendly, open environment. 
We've had uh, real people who are very knowledgeable coming in and teaching our staff and allowing our staff to come here for the training they need so that they can become more knowledgeable and more able to assist customers. Uh, you know, I want to know what goes with green beans and turnips or, you know what I mean? <laughs> I want to be able to uh, enhance uh, the experience that our customers are having. And I look forward to finding out what wine goes with green beans and turnips. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're working on it. <laughs> Cade Meyer, thank you very much for taking the time. Sure. Thank you very much.